Huge, unprecedented pro-democracy protests are sweeping Poland. Here's what's going on. On Sunday, June 4th, hundreds of thousands of people took to the streets of Warsaw to protest against Poland's right-wing government. Since it came to power in 2015, the ruling Law and Justice Party has eroded democracy and attacked human rights by taking away the independence of the country's top court. The Constitutional Court is supposed to be an independent branch of the government that ensures that laws that are passed by the government are consistent with the country's constitution. But the Law and Justice Party, known as PIS in Poland, has replaced the panel of judges with those who are loyal to them. This has made it easier for the party to pass laws that attack democracy, press freedom, as well as women's and LGBTQ rights. For example, in 2020, the court ruled in favor of a law that bans abortion in almost all cases, except in instances of rape, incest, or if there is a threat to the woman's health or life. This accounts for only about 2% of all legal abortions in Poland in recent years. And in recent years, with the government's support, more than 90 regions in Poland declared themselves to be LGBT-free zones, areas that are unwelcoming of LGBTQ ideology. And in 2021, the government announced a new law that bans same-sex couples from adopting children. LGBTQ rights in Poland are now among one of the worst in European Union countries, according to a 2021 report. Since 2015, numerous protests have broken out against the various rulings and changes. This is a photo showing the scale of the protests against the abortion ban in 2020. This time, it was the biggest demonstration the country has seen since the fall of communism in 1989. People from all over the country traveled to Warsaw to participate in the march, which was attended by an estimated half a million people. Kiedy nastąpił przełom, liczę, że dzisiaj też będzie przełom, że obudzi się w ludziach e, chęć do zmiany. Ja przyjechałem z Nowego Sącza, wstaliśmy o trzeciej godziny nad ranem i w autobusie, kiedy rozmawialiśmy z ludźmi, wszyscy mówili, że coś się zmieniło, że ci ludzie e, zawsze oglądali te marsze w telewizji, e, śledzili, natomiast dzisiaj stwierdzili, że muszą być razem z nami, że muszą przyjechać do Warszawy, bo to jest chwila historyczna i naprawdę coś się zmienia. Former Prime Minister Donald Tusk, who is leading the opposition party, was also present, as was former President Lech Wałęsa, who helped to end communist rule in Poland. Pierwszym krokiem do zwycięstwa jest poznać się na własnej sile. Jesteśmy tutaj dzisiaj, żeby cała Polska, cała Europa, cały świat, żeby wszyscy zobaczyli, jak jesteśmy silni, ilu jest nas gotowych, Podobnie jak wtedy, 40-30 lat temu, walczyć znowu o demokrację, o wolną Polskę, o nasze prawa. Tego głosu, tej fali już nic nie zatrzyma. Olbrzym się obudził. Jestem dumny i szczęśliwy, że mogę dzisiaj tu, w Warszawie, w samo południe, powiedzieć zwyciężymy! The demonstration comes ahead of elections, which will be held by November 2023. Follow for more stories from around the world.